the 2024 Acura Integra. And no, it isn't a Type S. But stay tuned to see why this A-Spec model has its own set of values and use case right here on Moon Rocks Chop Shop. What's up y'all and welcome back to another episode of Moon Rocks Chop Shop. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, help me out with the channel. But today, I do have an Integra, but as you can see, it's not a Type S. Before anybody gets their panties in a bunch, I just dropped off my Integra to the dealership to get a couple parts installed, and they gave me this as a loaner. Now, I won't lie to you guys, I'm quite surprised at the type of car this is. It's a completely different car than the Type S. It's not even the same category. But let me get into it and tell you exactly why. So initially walking around the car, you can tell that this car is nowhere near as aggressive as the Type S is. The stance isn't the same. Look, look at the body lines. It's almost completely different. It does, doesn't have the flared out fender look, but it is still quite an attractive car from far, you know, and even when you get up close, uh, it's no slouch um, in the looks department anyways. But this thing is pretty clean, guys. And some of the things that, like I was saying, quite surprised me is actually not found on the interior or even in the speed category. So I actually want to get in the car and give you guys a drive since they gave me this loaner. Uh, it was quite interesting to see. So one of the things that I realized right off the bat, these back seats, my God, are they plush. They're way nicer. I shouldn't say nicer. But they're definitely softer and more comfortable than the Type S has. And of course this has a third seat with the drop down cup holders. Rather than having the uh, middle seat cup holders like my Type S does. But you know, this, this is definitely a plus for your passengers if you care about something like that. Another thing that's completely different is these wheels. Now obviously they have 18 inch wheels on here with 235-40-18s which ride very very good super comfortable um it's definitely not as aggressive as the type s so that's definitely something to think about if you're in the market for one of these cars but let me get inside the driver's seat so you guys can see a couple other things as well so right off the bat guys you see this interior is much simpler i mean it is the black interior so maybe that's why but you know, there's a couple things of differences in here. Let me uh, turn up this AC a little bit. But one thing that really does suck, and not that I care, but this thing doesn't have a boost gauge. Like, I think every turbo car should have a boost gauge because just because it's fun to look at. But, you know, just one drawback. Um, not really a drawback. It just depends on... The type of person that you are and what you like so another thing guys that kind of surprised me i'm not sure in a good way or a bad way i'm i might be a little indifferent to it i just appreciate that it's different is these seats um they're much more plush not just in the back but also in the front now these bolsters here they're much less stiff they're way softer than what the type s has but they're pleasantly comfortable, I will say. They're super plush. It feels like I'm on a couch, like a very comfortable couch. And, you know, I can appreciate this, especially, you know, an automatic car. Yes, this is an automatic. In an automatic car, I like to sit back, recline a little bit more, you know. Got my pedal length uh, almost to the fullest. I like to extend my knees out. So... That's something to think about. Um, this is a good family mobile for sure. Um, if your wife or your family cannot drive stick, this is a better option. It's super comfortable. One thing that Honda and Acura does, guys, is it makes the luxurious feel mundane in a good way. Some people don't really want to opt for like a Mercedes or a Lexus, you know? This Acura is kind of like that middle ground of 
sport luxury but not too much so you know you're not like a douchebag in a lexus is you know not that i'm saying is owners are douchebags but it's definitely an archetype right but so is honda acura i guess everybody you know every company has an archetype of drivers but it's very interesting uh how different this car is than the type s i think that was my biggest thing um and of course we do have the sunroof you know let me show you guys real quick yep sunroof that's a type s non-exclusive or i should say the type s doesn't get that i guess but yeah so comfort definitely here another thing that i'm a little annoyed at that the type s doesn't have is can you see it i don't know if you can see it there it goes yep chargers usb ports in the back seat why they didn't give that to the type s not entirely too sure but i'm probably going to be looking to do that modification on my type s uh somewhere in the future so just something to keep in mind if you guys are looking for between the type s and this car um but look i'm gonna get on a drive so you guys can kind of see and you know you can see my reaction live on how this drive feels comparatively to the type s so let's get to it So right off the bat, guys, I feel really comfortable in this car. Um, it def definitely doesn't take as much effort as the Type S would. Definitely not as loud. Um, obviously, I got to drive in sport mode because, you know. So the throttle response is definitely noticeable in sport mode. Um, you know, it gets very light. The steering gets heavier. The suspension gets a little bit more rigid um but nothing too crazy you know it's definitely not like the type s but ah, it's just slow man it's just really slow but one thing is it does have some low-end torque which is cool feels good um but nothing in the top end you know like once you get past about 3000 rpms the car just doesn't really do much um, you know, and that's the type of car it is. It's not like a fast, supposed to be made to go like super fast. It's supposed to be comfortable, you know, for your family. One thing that they did nail on this car is definitely the comfort. I'm telling you guys, this thing feels like it is floating and I have the suspension in the most rigid mode. But if I go over big bumps, it feels amazing. I barely even feel it essentially um you know and I, like i said i'm sitting back these seats man like i don't know if i like the type s seats better or these better they're just you know like they just feel like a cushion all the way around whereas the type s definitely is firmer on the bolsters um this one's not not that it's not holding me in place it's definitely holding me in place it's just super soft man super comfortable i feel like i'm floating in this car which is such a big difference from the type s man the type s is a completely different car from this so guys i would suggest that you know if you're in the market for a newer car you're kind of stuck on the fence about what to get i mean there's really no comparison between this and the type s which is a testament to honda acura to be honest they're so great at doing what they do that they made the same platform of a car but just made it completely different i don't know how you do that but this car is actually a different car yo so with that being said you know everything in this car is comfortable i have no stress i can just chill relax i don't feel like going fast i just feel like staying with traffic and when i need to get to the traffic i'll get there as well you know so not bad at all um i like having the sunroof in here I, I just feel like i don't have to take as much care to drive this as i do with the type s like with the type s i just try to like maintain a, a certain distance from cars from curbs from almost damn near everything but in this car for some reason i don't know if it's because it's a loner but 
I don't feel the same requirement of, man, I better take it easy or I better stay away from these curbs or anything like that. So that might be more me than the car, but definitely this car is interesting. And of course, it does have a few different things, which, you know, you might have to think about if you're going to be getting a car like this. Um, of course, it has the memory seats, which is that a plus or a minus? Not too sure. Uh, I don't mind having my Type S with no memory seats because nobody drives that thing except for me. But this car is definitely, you know, more of a use for memory seats. So Honda definitely, Honda Acura definitely knew what they were doing when they didn't put a memory seat function inside of the Type S. Whereas in this car, you have it because it's, you know, it's a family car. Maybe multiple people might drive it. So they feel like they took that into consideration. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty interesting, man. And, of course, the sunroof is a big plus. I love sunroofs. Um, just didn't really care for it in the Type S. I'm trying to see what else is different in here that really makes me feel like a big difference. But, you know, aside from the certain things that I've already kind of mentioned, the car is not too much different, but it's how it feels. It feels like a completely different car, y'all. Just completely different. I don't know if you guys, I wish you guys could feel off the line. This thing is torquey. But, yep, there you go. Right around 3,200 RPMs. That horsepower kind of feels like it tops out. Uh, let me go into comfort mode and see how that feels. Let's see, let's see how much better the comfort is on this car. And come, oh, my goodness. The steering is just ridiculous. It just got super light, guys. Like, I can't even explain to you how light it just got. But it just, oh, even the suspension, man. So, in, so let me just explain. In sport mode, this car feels like you're riding in the air. In comfort mode, it feels like you're riding on clouds. Like, it's super comfortable. Comparatively to like a, you know, maybe like a Lexus IS. That's the only thing I can compare this car to because... You know, I, I don't know if I want to, would want to compare this to a Mercedes. Maybe like a CLA it might compare to that. You know, like a base model or something. But here's the thing, you guys. I don't know if I would buy an A-spec of this car. Um, now, it will be interesting to drive a base model to see what the exact differences of an accurate base model is versus the A-spec. We already know what the Type S is. But I just feel like you don't, for the package, you don't really get too much on the A-Spec. My thing is, why buy the A-Spec when you can buy the Type S? You want performance, you want a good body package, buy the Type S, spend a little bit of extra money. But I think buying this car in base model form Man, that might be that might be the ticket because it's cheap enough. It becomes cheaper than the IS or a Benz or a lot of luxury cars in the class. It becomes cheaper in base model. It's gonna do the same thing. It has the same motor. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it has the same motor, same powertrain, everything. So, oh my goodness, this car is, rides like a cloud, man. I, I gotta say. I gotta say it's even more comfortable than an IS. I have to say that. Interior wise. Like the ISs look cooler, don't get me wrong. Exterior and interior, they definitely look cooler. But just the ride quality and my comfort is for some reason is better in this car than maybe it would be in an IS. But like I was saying, I think maybe the sweet spot for this car is the base model. Just because you're spending a lot of extra money on the A-Spec package, that you're not really getting anything too much of, you know? Like, you're not getting more power. You're not getting the big brakes. You're not getting the big body kits. You're not getting the big wheels. You're not really getting much of anything. So, with that being said, you know, maybe the base model will be a better, will be the better option. If you're looking for a family car, you know, if you want something 
that you can ride around in and not worry about nobody's gonna look twice because yeah it's an accurate it's a nicer car but you know it's not something that people would look at like oh shoot what's that like let me go check that out let me go rob this guy when he comes out or you know something like that god forbid i hope that doesn't happen to anybody but just just a thought process on you know what this might be what this might mean to you but man i just cannot get over how different this car is from the type s it's a completely different car so i don't know guys this is a uh, very interesting um i'm kind of glad i got this car and was you know get this experience because uh it really gives me perspective to what i actually bought and let me tell you i do not regret my purchase at all of the type s i absolutely love my type s and i hope i get it back soon but any anyways guys with that um that's gonna be it for this video i have more stuff coming um just stay tuned don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and comment please hit the notification bell so you know when i upload again i got more things coming trying to get to 500 subscribers guys so if you see that and i'm not there yet just hit subscribe if i'm there hit subscribe anyways and thanks for watching moonrise chop shop i'll see you guys on the next one peace